Another question is: Should I go ahead with the summer intake instead of waiting to the fall intake? Now, this is an interesting question. It's got some obvious pros and also maybe some cons associated with it. There's an academic side of the equation, and there is also the visa side of the equation. On the academic side. When you choose to come here for the summer and start your degree program in that intake, just realize that your chances of scholarship may be slightly diminished because the big scholarship window is when you come here for the fall intake or maybe just even the spring intake. In the summer, generally you have、um, very few students coming here because the university. There's not a lot of activity taking place. There's some summer courses that's being offered, but for the large part, the university is a bit vacant,、um, and so because of that, you may not have access to the kinds of assistantships or scholarships. Maybe not all of the professors are, are even there during the the summer intake because they probably will take some time off.、Um, you may not be able to find that internship right when you come in because you have not established yourself here. But you can find that on-campus、uh, employment, and then perhaps the fall semester, you have the ability of landing a research assistantship or a teaching assistantship because you have spent the last three months being on campus and learning about who to talk to, who to network with, the kind of opportunities you have. So I think that's a that's a positive. There's a huge advantage on the visa side because. If you look at, and I explain this well in my visa course, when you look at the most visas are awarded during the months of December, which is for the spring intake, but a massive peak in the months of June, July. In fact, over 60% of all F1 student visas are provided in the months of June and July. The demand and the number of applications that go in for the visa interviews in June, July is astronomical. What that means is, when you will apply for your visa, it'll more than likely be in the April timeframe, perhaps March, April timeframe, maybe even May, which the the season has not really picked up. You have in April; it's perfect time to apply for your visa. Uh, you're not getting so much of demand from other applicants, which means Visa is a biggest competition there is, and so when you have less contenders, perhaps more probability that you will get、uh, the success in your visa interview. And the reason for that as well is the visa officer may choose to spend a bit more time getting to know you and your background. In the months of June, July, when you come in for the fall, they are making split. Second decisions. It's based on their gut feeling because they have to talk to 200, maybe 300 students in a given day. So they're making split decisions. But when you apply for a visa in April, things fundamentally shift. That's one of the re reasons why I highly recommend students to also who are coming here for the fall apply for your visa a little early because you have 120 days from your program start date to apply. For your visa, and so technically, even if you're coming here for the fall, everyone should apply for a visa in the the months of starting April and May, because you have a huge advantage.、Um, but again, back to the summer aspects of things, the there are two pluses that you have that you are able to orient yourself on campus before the fall students come in. You have a huge opportunity to differentiate yourself、uh, and possibly get an、uh, an acceptance at the visa level. The one minus is you may not come in with that scholarship. Hope that's helpful.